Hello, my little crones, munchkins, and sunflowers. I said it wrong. No, you came in singing. Oh, I know, but I, I was just doing something to show off. Anyway, it's Friday. It's always good to be Friday. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I don't really have anything else to say, really. Do you? Um, no. Because we've been doing this all. I'm starting to think like, but what I'm not going to forget about are these cards. So anyway, let's get to it. Actually, I do have something to sure. mention about the Kardashians Ooh. to be on topic. Mm -hmm. So recently, just yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes, just yesterday. Um, well, actually, it was Wednesday night. But on Thursday morning, you're able to watch on Hulu. What is it? American Horror Story Delicate Part 2 has finally returned. I haven't even bothered to look at it. No, we haven't. We yeah. had intentions to watch it yesterday. I got bored. It made me wait so long. I'm... It's supposed to be only five episodes, and I counted But the last out. one was six. Yes. And so five or six, so it's the same. I didn't like this at yeah. all. I lost interest. It's boring. I don't care. That the, I don't know what this is. This is some new way. They said they did it before. Lose me with it. <laughs> it I, I just lost my... I haven't even looked at it. Yeah, I think that... What it, was... It was promising. But the way they did it... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boo. Yes. I lost interest in and it. And just like you said, it would have to do something, at least the way I interpret it, it would have to do something with the Kardashians because five weeks of watching American Horror Story. Now they show sure getting ready to come back. Yeah, now. you get a break for one week. And then that following week, the Kardashians are back on May 23rd. Well, I hope that it was worth it for you. Yes. I, I really do. When does when do we come back on? The Kardashians, May 23rd. So, but they will be gone off. Yes, they would have been off for one week. Right. So I hope that this was really smart. It was a good move for the Kardashian to keep Kim mind on her. But as your show, that wasn't a good move. Don't sell yourself so short just to get somebody to play a role because you lost the audience with that. Yeah. I know I can't be the only one who feel this way. Mm -mm, no. I mean, I just lost interest. I mean, it had me. And now it's like, I don't even want, well, I don't even want to go back. It's like it's getting warm. Yeah, I don't want to see all that gothic, macabre, mm, yeah, dark. You know, it's it's summertime. Look, some some summertime, yes. some some. So I don't, I don't want to go back to the gloomy, boomy. That was good during the winter, winter but now you no wrong. Yeah. Well, anyway, speaking of them, you know, Kim name has been in the in the news. Uh, about her daughter called, you know, loving on Bianca. Mm -hmm. uh, everything I say is allegedly, yes. but loving on Bianca. Um, also with the with Balenciaga and the, um, suing her, going through the house, looking for what their stuff back, what their merch back. Yes, apparently being um, mm -hmm. let go from Dolce and Cabana. To, Isn't that who I was talking about? Or to the did know, I get two them? different things. Dolce and Cabana is who. Courtney was partnering with for her wedding and Kim snagged a deal behind the scenes. And apparently they didn't like it. Yeah, and now they've let Kim Kardashian go. <laughs> so this is because of that lady. What's her name? The cut oh, yes. Miss Miss Fly. I love the way mm, she dressed yes. so conservative. As good as I know. Oh, her name just really came out my mouth. Anna Wintour. Anna Wintour. Yes. I love the name. Yes. And um, Anna Wintour don't want no parts of her. Mm -hmm. So she done blackballed her through the industry. God knows I saw the other day, a couple of days ago, was it last week looking like an old name, Pet Liza. Because that's what she looked like with that outfit, not match, black, what? It was like, whoa, what? No, no, no. Dressed like a Bianca. Dressed like a Bianca. Because, no, 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 no. So anyway. What is that sound? It's an airplane. So you're not used to hearing planes <laughs> over here. You no, want to make sure it ain't coming into the house? Like, <laughs> no, it just sounded see? a little weird. No, I can't see it. Okay. All right. Okay. We all right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, as I was saying, so the problem that I'm reading about today is I just want to get you caught up. Um, allegedly, uh, Courtney had left the Kardashians, apparently suing her mother and Kim. 
um, um, I think mother for wages or something like that, or stealing to something like, I know Kim is for stealing and um, allegedly you can get it up on it. So she's going after them. I'm telling you, I said, oh, wow, that Hollywood, Holly witches. Did I not say that these people kingdoms are coming down? A lot of times it just looked like it's just happened to the poor black folks. Honey, it's happening to everybody. Okay. It's yes. happening to people in your family. It's just happening to white, black, red, yellow, green. It don't matter. This don't have no color on it. Why? Because this is the energy we're in. Secret things are going to be revealing itself for the next 20 years because that's the next time we're going to have the sun eclipse. Yes. But we're going to get into that. Yes, we will. Tomorrow. We're going to get it either Saturday or Sunday. We're going to go live and we're going to talk about the end of times. Ooh. Or is there such a thing? Ooh. Ooh. Is the sun coming down to blow up the earth? Ooh, but we don't know the creepy and the spooky, the eerie and the spooky. They all together, the spooky, the Crohn's family. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So anyway, okay, okay. We gotta stop joking. Okay. Oh, but that's the energy. I mean, we have been at least I have been dropping Ooh. little nuggets throughout each video. You have this. been. You have been. I so keep my excitement. But yeah. Okay. So anyway, you're right. You're right. You're right. So anyway, okay. Let me get myself together. So this is about the suitcase and what's going on between the mother, Kimberly, and Chloe. I am mean, Courtney. I wonder how much. Does Travis have to do with this? I see Travis little fingers all in this. He is the puppet master. Great, I great, see great. him. He is the great magician. Poop, get to. Oh, I see him all up in that. Mm -hmm. And you that. might say no, because this is something Courtney never did. Yes. Although I knew that it was going to come. And this is a lot of her. She gives her the strength to do this. He does. I hope that he don't take her to the bridge and she flies over and she says, you, I don't want to be with you. I, Y'all make me sick. And she get up and she move. And then the next five years, her and, Tra her and Travis broke up. That is true. That would be sad. Because then she done cut it off and then she would have to go back with the head between the tail and she would they would just treat her bad after that. Yeah, or you'll be Cinderella for sure. Or she can remain strong and just and stand on her own. Yes. That's what I would do. I would weather it on my own. Yes. They will come Instead to me. Going back to you guys. I would never <laughs> I know that's right. And you ain't never lie. Because I would just mm -mm. but I would just hope that don't happen. Yes. I don't know why that thought is in my head. Nevertheless, so I'm going to just lay out it. some cards. I'm not going to go anything. However, I do see a 10 and, and this is the first card. So this is, this is the card and I'm going to lay a card over for the root of it. The situation is, I think this, this situation has depleted itself. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? It's just that this person doesn't have anything else to give. It's not that they don't have anything to give because if you turn the card upside down, you can see it's light. Mm -hmm. They got to give. They just don't have anything to give to this situation anymore. They tapped out. I don't, I'm, I'm dead. To, I need something new. It's like you ever just said, I've been doing this for 25 years. I just want a new job. I just, this is what this is. This is what I'm getting. And it's like, no, mm -hmm. you owe us. But this is the problem. No, you can't leave. You owe us. You in debt to us. We gave you your career. You do. You can't just walk away. This man is turning your head. Don't walk away on your family. We are blood. Things are getting better. But what I see here, ooh, I have to say it. I have to tell you what I see. Okay, I see you. Oh. <laughs> I see a ten which is a one and I see Jupiter and Jupiter is like 
the, the mother load. It's like she's going to let you do. She's going to give you your freedom to do whatever you need to do to find your peace, to find your wisdom, because she's about peace. She's about wisdom. Anything to get you on a higher level, she's about that. Mm -hmm. And this is what this is all about. However, when I go back to Courtney, which is the, the root of it, yes. I see a Gemini. So that let me know there's two heads in this. Okay. That's not one because the Gemini is two. Yes. And not only is it two heads, they both working under the sun. Mm -hmm. In other words, they both doing that sun magic. They both, this is strategically done. Is okay. she in it by herself? No. He is right there encouraging her on. He is 100% in her breaking free from her family. The reason that come through my mind is the misery that he sees that she go through. Okay. That's that's what the first thing that comes to mind. If something else comes to my mind, and the, what happened when Penelope saw her arguing like that? That that just came to my mind. If something comes to my mind, I'ma tell you. Don't don't tell me enough right now. Let me get some cards out. Okay, I see mm -hmm. Jupiter again. There it is. And what is that? Oh, oh Leo. Leo. Oh, that speak oh, volumes. Yeah. So you got Leo. So you got Leo and you got Scorpio. So you got that, you got that real fiery energy. So they feeling good. They feeling like they got victory. They feeling momentum. They feeling like, you know what? Woo, this is it. This is what we need. She feeling free. They feeling like, woo. Ooh, I've been in a dead place. I was in a sunken place. You know, my love. Whew, you know, we feeling tall and strong. And she's like, whoo. It's like she feeling liberated for the first time. She said they working well together. You know, you see that Venus over there. That Venus working with that. What's that? Uh, that is... Capricorn. Oh, Venus and Capricorn working together. That love energy and that animal energy. Those energies. Do, do you see it? Yes, I do Working see together. It. You know, this cold, frigid, wintry weather is working with Venus, the goddess of love and heat. So they are doing it. They are making their concoction. They're making their plan. Don't be surprised if you hear she move. Okay. Or moving. Yeah, she feeling strong and strong for the first time in her life. She feel like I'm on top of it. I feel myself. I feel free. I don't feel beholden to anybody. I just feel like she just, he helps her to be free. Okay. And not live this rigid, but for her, it was a rigid fake life. Mm. And it was a life of, I'll walk over you to get that. It was a life of greed, a life of power, a life of fakeness. And she just said, I couldn't do it anymore. And anyway, you know, with Scott around, I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is somebody who's moving on, who's looking out, who's contemplating. I see the sun. I see that eagerness. I see somebody saying, whoo, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been thinking here. I've been standing here too long. My bags are packed. I don't let, I'm ready to let go, baby. I'm holding on to you, but all that rest of that junk, I'm leaping in for good, for bad, for up or down. I'm going. She going in. She's going for her new life. Okay. And that is to cut her family off. She doesn't She doesn't want to cut her family off. But if you sue someone, you're cutting me off. Yeah. Because I'm going to be angry with you for a long, long time. But after a couple of years, I'm going to miss you and want you back. You know, I'm not going to stay angry with you forever. I would never do that. But for a while, I'd be angry. But maybe in about six months or so, I'll get over it. I'll understand. Yeah. I don't know. But there it goes again. I see that baby. What's that? What's that? Mercury. Mercury. <laughs> yes, and Virgo. Read it, baby. Come. Yes. Um, you can hold it. Okay. This represents somebody who is committed to a family or a legacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's sizzling. It's hot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a planet over there or something? I can't yes, see. The planet was Mercury. Mercury, and that is, is that, that Scorpio? No, it's Virgo. Virgo. You know, I'm going to learn them. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's why I have to get learning cards. But these are not learning cards. <laughs> but you understand? So they really help me understand a lot of where I want to go. Anyway, like I said, I what was it? I can't see. The, the, the Mercury. The, the Mercury. So this is very hot. So they are in this together. They're in it. I'm talking about Courtney and her husband. They're in it. But, but, but. Doesn't it seem like something like this much, like something wrong? 
like it's too good to be true and you got another sword like winning like winning like you got this air it's i'm telling you it's like the queen it's like the queen it's like a sense of feeling free like your like your chakra is open and you can hear better go ahead yeah, baby and girl. there was the ten of swords as well at the very yes. bottom to represent courtney so a lot of swords it's like here this the, the, there's the sagittarius it's a release in this burden you have ten of wands ten, ten of, of swords you see it it's releasing it's releasing it's letting ten. go this is a new life how long they've been married two years let's see mm -hmm. oh yes oh they are well um, oh oh baby come i gotta say something okay i see them walking into a new adventure they're taking oh, all their burdens and all their problems and all their wackiness. They're taking it to another place. Look, baby, look at a whole nother city. This place is scorched. They are taking all of that. They're taking all of that and they're moving it somewhere else, someplace that's lucrative. Okay. Someplace they start. Don't you see the path? Mm -hmm, I do see the it's path. It's a path and they are moving. They're taking all their energy. I wonder if they're going to do a show. Listen, there's been rumors about that. I'm not sure if it's true or not. I sure hope so. I would love to see. Ooh, because that's what I see. I see. I see that they're going to have their own show. I could be wrong. The only reason why I say it, you got to see new beginnings. Like I see all this free air, free thinking, able to move, adjust, yada, yada, yada. And then I see fire. And that's like. Oh, great energy. And it's like a burden, but we want to push this in another direction. We want to get it right over here and let it make money for us. Our family. Let, let the kids have their time and the light. Mm -hmm. Because you know who will be watching? Yes. Me. So I know it will be a lot of people. And I know that with the show, especially if they bring in, if anybody who will know how to do the show, it'd be Courtney. Yes. Why? Because she lived it. And she was in a reality show before any of them was. And, and I saw that years ago. But I definitely see pentacles. I see it's opening up. I see this is a good move, a good move. And sometimes, and you know what? The saddest part about the Kardashians, okay. their problem was they didn't know when to let go. Well, that is true. See, now things are falling in because many of you are in deep debt. And now you're in. You never go out. You leave. You 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 know. Give it. Say whatever we want to say about Oprah, but she took a bow right. Nobody had to kick her out. When y'all leave, y'all and when the Kardashians leave, y'all gonna just leave as stink pots. Yeah. Like ugh. And you know what? When we had this little vacation away from you, I enjoyed it. Yeah, that is true. Didn't you? Yeah. Even though you were right. blowing up the news. That is that is true. But it felt good. Mm -hmm. Right? So you will be missed, but I think we can get along without you. Yes. I, I learned that. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I've learned that life goes on and we don't have to look at the Kardashians. Yes. And the condition that you're in, you're a pitiful sight to look like. As a matter of fact, you all don't look no different than the P. Diddy's. Okay. You don't. You, you you just look just as bad, especially you, Kim, when having police officers go all up in your house or whatever, mm -hmm. being raided, stealing, still stealing. You know why you steal? Because you was never reprimanded. You was able to get away with it. But now you're exposed. The world knows you are a thief. Mm -hmm. And I don't know no other name to call it. And a lie. And a hoe. Yeah, that's just true. What am I wrong? Yeah, I think we covered everything. To that am I wrong? Him. Is that wrong? Nope, that's how she got famous. That's how you got top. famous. That's how right about it. That's right. You've always been a liar and a cheat, and you'll to get your way to the top. Mm -hmm. Well, you succeeded and even stole money from his family, stole money, and still you're stealing from famous people. Mm -hmm. These designers go, you done lost your mind, but you know what? I don't have no hate for you. You know what? Because everything that you've done is falling back on you. It must be pretty awful to be you right now. Yes. And everything that is so sad of all, your only daughter, not your only daughter, but your first daughter, the first child you ever have is showing her affections to another woman. Boy, 
what does that say about you as a mom? Yes. Because if that was me, my heart would be broken. And I don't care how many children I have because there ain't no way I'm going to allow my daughter to be like that because it's all that love going to go to me. My daughter going to be wanting me. No, mommy, I don't want to go. I want to stay with you. Not. I'm happy to go. I'm um, running away. What yes. and the John Brown hickeys are going on in your home that your daughter want to leave? And I know what it is. You're just not there. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's it. Because I don't fault you. I don't think, I don't see you. If anything, you don't discipline your kids. I fault you for that. Your children don't respect you. You don't respect, you don't discipline your kids, eh? And you're not there. So you're raising monsters. So hopefully whoever's raising them are doing a good job yes. of it. So with that being said, I see Courtney moving on to new adventures. Definitely. I'm not saying her marriage is perfect. I just want to see. They Ooh. still in love. Let me get Love it. That. What about the family dynamics? <laughs> She knew it was too good to the be The family feud. They are, they either fighting and loving or loving and fighting. Either way, you see love, mm -hmm. but you see that there is ruckus, whether they're playing or real. But it is a thing, a men and women tussling against who's going to win. So this is definitely some chaos going on. For good or bad, but there is some chaos going on in that family. But they are still together, according to the card. Love is still reigning, and that card and yud is still there. So, with that being said, that is all I have to say about the. Oh, you have a question? No, I do not have a question. Well, that's all I have to say. I just went to talk about them, and I wanted to do a read on them. But the end of it, Chloe is leaving. I mean, not Chloe. Courtney, Courtney is allegedly leaving, and. And it seems to me she's going to do something else. I think it might be a show. I'm not 100% sure. I have no idea. But I know that she's moving this burden somewhere else. And whatever it is, it looks right for her. And if it's a show, she'll be wonderful at it. And if she does, you'll hear it from me. So with that being said, thank you for joining us mm -hmm. again. We'll hopefully we'll see you sometime over the weekend when we talk about a more serious note. We're going to be talking yes. about the eclipse and what does all of this mean? What does it mean from a spiritual perspective? Yes. I haven't decided whether we're going to do tomorrow or Sunday. It'll be one of those days, but just keep checking in. Yes. But we'll be please subscribe. Subscribe, please. Thumb us up. Please, yes. if you happen to run across, and this was, we were joking today. This was a jokey day, but I never joke over my reads. That is ever. True. That is sincere. So with that being said, we thank you for joining us. Please thumb us up, subscribe. Yes. And pray that we grow and grow and grow and grow and keep our algorithm so we can get up there, so we can get some cameras, like a mm -hmm. really nice camera. Well, with all that being said, we thank you for your support. And we thank you for loving on us as yes. we love on you. And here's to you. Sunflowers. <laughs>